Today's adventure brings us to Apt Electronics for a special tour, one of my favorite stores. Join me in an episode of Wristbands Required. We didn't forget it this time, guys. We got it. Apt Electronics. A sharper image on steroids, where they do have a life-size exhibit of Mr. Thomas Edison. You know he created the uh, light bulb, right? And that noise you're hearing is the fountain in the middle of one of the coolest stores I've ever been to in my life. An app Electronics located in Glenview, Illinois that I like to refer to as a sharper image on steroids. Did you guys see how much weight Drew Carey lost? He looks really... He looks really skinny, doesn't he? Holy cow. I haven't seen him forever. Right when you walk into Apt Electronics, you're greeted with some of the coolest stuff. Home gym. You can find anything here. And I was just informed by an associate who was very helpful. They are gonna run some major deals. Right now, actually, as a recording of this video, we do have prime deal days going on. A lot of retailers have picked that up. But as we get closer to the holidays, you're gonna see some more price breaks, especially at a store like Apt Electronics, and delivery is free. I actually saw a couple of Apt trucks on my way here, all the way up in the Wisconsin area, which is over an hour away. So they will deliver, or they will ship to your home for free. There's more stuff here than you could believe. Grills, TVs, appliances. This store is amazing. And it just reminds me of going downtown Chicago as a kid off of Michigan Avenue and seeing some of the really cool stores. But we don't have that in Wisconsin. Every time I come here, I check this aquarium out. Actually, the restrooms are right around the corner. So you walk past this. And every time I tell somebody, hey, I'm going to Apt Electronics, they're like, dude, check out the aquarium. I'm like, you're not kidding. And it is decked out for Halloween. Very special store. Special in terms of, they have everything here. Everything, and, and I'll show you guys. Home theaters. Rain cameras. And plenty of cameras. You can see all over here, for a guy like me, you know, this is one of the stops I do make in just checking out their new cameras because you can always use a spare. You can always find something. At Apt Electronics, they even have iPhones. Plenty of sunglasses. I'm a big Oakley guy. Kind of my go-to sunglasses. Huge display right next to all those cameras. And right around the corner from where all the appliances are, they do have some customer service off to the side brings us to like the pinnacle point of this store. We can see the airplane up here. Now they are remodeling, they're putting in a time store and it says October 23, so should be soon that Apt will have another store. And I heard that they are renovating and they're gonna gain an extra 30,000 square feet. It's kind of like an Ikea, like a step up from Ikea. Like you're gonna see some models of places, but this area right here, Pick up this go-kart. With the skylight. And you can see this from the outside of the building when you're leaving. And there are two floors you can see upstairs. They have a candy shop. The cave, which is behind this. Actually, this is a bubble machine. I did see some people on the weekend over there playing one day. This room over here is incredible. This fountain's incredible. You can see all the money in here. And what does a go-kart, and this is probably battery powered, I'd imagine. What does it go for, you may ask? $2,500. Now there's all these different prices here, but it looks like after all said and done, you can get a special sale price of just under $1,400. Display turn. So this one right here, if you're interested in this, 
you know, $1,400 for this isn't a bad price. You just gotta get past the dust, and the only reason you're seeing that dust right here, it's pretty cool. It does have a antenna here. The only reason you're seeing that dust is from the construction area that's just where they're putting in that Time Magazine. So it's kind of, everything just kind of works their way out here. But they also have a couple of Segways here too. And it looks like for $6.98 you can get a special. These are expensive. I've seen a lot of these in probably like Arizona, Florida, California. It's like an ideal place to have these. Ever see the skateboard with one wheel? That's pretty cool. But it's cool that you can come here. This is why I always call it a sharper image on steroids. Because there's so much other stuff here. Like the origin of Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the Kane's horses and all the Kane's men couldn't put Humpty together again. It's an actual statue of Humpty Dumpty. I guess before he fell off that wall. And right across from Humpty Dumpty is that area for Thomas Edison. Life-size statue on display in a very busy center point here of Apt Electronics. And I always like to come up and say hi to Thomas Edison. Hello, sir. Very cool to see. I actually went to his house. There's a museum in Florida. It's probably 1991 when I was there. And we do have some headphones here. You can listen into some stuff from history and all of his work, my life of inventions. Everything Mr. Thomas Edison is known for. Giving him mad props at Apt Electronics. It seems like every time I come here, something's new. The pool tables on display, like their cave, which we'll, we'll get into in a second, has so much stuff. So much awesome stuff. Here's that bubble machine. It's kind of like a field trip of kids behind me. I'm kind of wondering if they're gonna, if any one of them are gonna step in here. I did see this on a, on a weekend when I was here, but the pool tables out on the floor and ski ball. It's so cool. I mean, you think right here that you're in a mall. You are in the same store. You can see this group of kids over here. Probably just having the time of their life. There's unbelievable stuff to look at. But what I want to look at after this Venom Stern pinball. I did see some of these. As, this was the first place I did see the pinball. And then seeing them show up at a couple of different arcades. The gameplay, in my opinion, not the greatest pinball, but the look of it as a Marvel fan. I love that black suited Spider-Man. It's a great looking pinball. I'd love to have it. And you got three different price points here. The Stern Pinball Venom Pro, which I believe this is the Pro, is just under $7,000. And then from there on, $9,700, and then all the way up to $13,000. So, I mean, these, these pinballs are not cheap, but they do hold their value. And right outside of the cave, you can see Venom is over here on the left. They do have a Pac-Man Pixel Bash just over $2,800. Now, the stools and the carpet, those are all additional. You can see that right here on the price tag. So, you know, it's like going to a furniture store. You know, there's three prices. You saw it with the Venom. There's three different pinballs over there. And you see it here. The stools are $100 a piece. The rug is $179. So, you know, to get this look, someone's playing the pinball over here. To get this look, gonna cost you and what I like about the cave is they have real arcades they have they have pool tables and then they have arcade one up so there's all these different price points like you know some of this stuff see the dartboard here is out of my limits like I couldn't afford something like five thousand dollars for a skill shot FX so this is all digital and I mean, you just look at the sizes. This is something you would see at an arcade and a bar. A shuffleboard. A ski ball machine. And what does a ski ball machine go for these days? Just 
under $3,600. It's a hefty price. Trying to get this to center here, focus. There we go, $3,600. For a ski ball that always reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese when I was a kid. And then your arcade one up. So, you know, for a smaller size arcade at $599, it's a steep price for this particular arcade, in my opinion. But it's a lot cheaper than seeing something, you know, $3,000. And I like the fact that they'll show you an actual golden tea. I mean, this is something you would see at a restaurant, at a bar. And then your home arcade types. You see NFL Blitz here. But you also see another golden tea over here. So they break it down. You have, you have the knowledge of hey, this is what it's gonna cost if I'm gonna get the real thing, or if I wanna downsize it, if I want an arcade cabinet look versus the real deal that we just saw, this will cost you right now just under $530. So you do have options when you come here. You can, you can play these, you can check them out. They do have real pinballs, and they're all gonna vary. You saw the Venom had three different price points. There's three different sizes. This Star Wars particular is just under $4,700. So in terms of pinball, that's cheap. As you look at this Godzilla, it's $7,000. Dr. No could go all the way up to $9,700. There is a sale going on with this Dr. No for just under $6,800. So a lot of people love the Dr. No. It's nice having this, this screen right underneath the back glass. A lot of attention to detail on these pinballs. And every time I come here, like I said, you know, we were out in that lobby. A lot of stuff moves. They've shuffled these around. You can see another arcade one up NBA Jam. And last time I was here, actually, the Golden Tee was right next to that NBA Jam. And they do have real, actual arcades too for $3,000. And this is a multi case so you're gonna have a ton of games, which they have labeled right here on the outside. And if you're used to Arcade 1UP, for example, you've seen plenty of these titles throughout the years. Like most of us have every single game on here. So when you see something like this at $3,000, you're like, heck no, I'm not gonna pay it. I already have so many renders of it, but what you are getting is that real arcade look. I mean, just look at how thick this is. And the buttons, the joysticks, everything's gonna be more of a step up than what we're getting with something like an arcade one up. The joystick isn't as solid as what we saw. And actually, this is on sale for $549. I don't have any issue with, with something like an arcade one up, but a lot of people do and something like this yes. is what a lot of the you know public population is is more interested in like that real feel of an arcade machine but when it comes down to a real feel of an arcade this thing's gonna well it's actually not too heavy i just kind of shook it here but i don't think i could carry this by myself you would need another pair of hands something like this you can move around on your own also more pinballs across and this is a new addition they have is a light gun arcade cabinet from arcade one up big buck hunter pro currently 599 dollars but the cool thing about this is you can come up you can play these you can check them out and you're not going to see a lot of these set up at other retailers you can see the boxes we can all walk up to that in the store but to play a sample version like this to come up and take the guns out one-handed here, I'm holding on to the camera, but to, to play this. You're not gonna get this at a lot of other stores. And you saw people playing the pinball, like you could play these to a certain point, and then eventually, I did ask a representative, you will have to put in the, the 25 cents, but you can get a couple of free games out of here. It will let you play them. And for a hefty price, for $4,700, you can pick up something like this and you know the the games that are on here per se you can find these anywhere for a lot cheaper 
But what you're paying for is this. I mean, look at the size of this for a second compared to the NFL Blitz. And this is a big arcade one up. I mean, it's a four player. That's 32 inches across. Just look at this. I mean, just standing in front of this. My eyes are telling me this is about 40 inches compared to the 32. It's a big size. And the things you can bring home, I mean, look at the ski ball machine. The things you can bring home, honey guys, look at this room. You have the real deal, you have the arcade one-ups. Pinballs, all of this stuff. This is crazy, like where else do you see this? They even have vacuums right next door. They got everything here. It's like that Seinfeld episode when he's flying first class and the stewardess goes, more anything? He goes, more everything! Couldn't walk up to this when we first walked in, but for the real deal here, $4,900. You can get this golden tea. I mean, this is, I mean, could you imagine having this at your, at your home? They even have cup holders right here. Like, would this be, look at that detail with the golf balls on the side. I've never really spent much time looking at this. You probably have to buy the TV separately. I wonder how this breaks down. Cabinet and stand. Usually you have to buy the TV separately. The way this all... Looks like you just keep adding. As shown. Okay, so $6,600 for everything here. You're getting this. You're getting the whole deal. And it's expensive. I'm going to tell you that the trackball on here is a lot better than that arcade one up we were looking at. Everything's gonna be better. The buttons, you're gonna have so much more on here, but you can also get that arcade one up for under $530. So it just depends on, you know, how much you can spend on something, but how cool would this be? And just stepping back out, they do have a candy shop. Pretty cool light ups. Looks like you can pull these out and put them back in anywhere you want, where the lights are. The apt logo. The candy store. And it always reminds me of Disneyland or Disney World, even like a Six Flags where when you walk in, you have the fountain, like you have Main Street USA and everything just kind of branches off. There was the entrance we walked in where, where all the cameras, the appliances, the home gym was. You come out here and all these other stores are escalators going up and down on both corners. They have an Apple store. And couches, like you can just chill out here. You can spend the whole day at Apple Electronics. And they're running a 40% off construction savings. Now they have a lot of displays out here in the front. Now what I want to do is go upstairs and check out what they have up there. There's that plane on top but when we go upstairs we can get a great look and check out everything where we're standing now. Can you guys believe this is all one store? Please pardon our dust. Room closed. Thank you. App coming soon. I want to showcase this. Another cool store is time. And you know what it feels like they're doing here is bringing back that mall feeling. Like you go to a mall. Like how many malls do you go to or, or went to that are no more? That you know, there's they're like ghost towns. They're not open. This place is 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 building. I mean, you can see all the people in here. This is a weekday when I'm here. I actually took off of work to come here today. And as a recording of this video, you can see the skyline here in Chicago. It's a Tuesday morning. And there's a lot of people here already. And I want to say it probably opened about an hour and a half ago. Probably 10.30 in the morning. And it's just crazy. The amount of people you see. You have a bunch of mattresses up here. And we can actually walk around this whole area all their furniture and there's plenty of associates representatives to help you with anything every room they're stationed in like it's blown 
check out them online and you can chat with somebody and you're actually chatting with a real person because you're chatting with somebody who's physically in this building and you can see the next room we were just in and a look down in this awesome lobby like look at the plane the fountain everything going on and my favorite the cave And now we're across from where we just were. The escalators are actually in between these two rooms. I thought we could get around. There's a wall. You can see that door right there. I thought it went around, but duh, there was like a tunnel I walked into. So it's kind of a C. We'll just kind of follow that corner, but we'll look down from this angle. You can see the back side of that Hamilton airplane. And something I want to say about, and actually a look down in that new time store coming. See the gentleman in there working. Something I wanna say about Aft Electronics is the associates here are really nice. Like, it's a family owned business and they're encouraging. This is why we couldn't get through. You can see this is where we walked in. Uh, the doors where we walked in are right through there. So it stops here and then it stops here. So we're gonna go around and just follow this perimeter. And then we'll come down those escalators. The staff here, it's a family owned business and they're extremely helpful. It's like going to Disneyland, Disney World. Like they're so nice. Look, like you can see the people enjoying that Venom Stern pinball. And actually, just like a store I'm used to, Best Buy of price matching, they will price match here too. And if you're in the store, I was talking to a very helpful associate and I said, you know, I'm waiting on a, this particular item till it drops. She even came down with a lower price than what was, was currently on sale. You're gonna get great deals just, just talking to people here. It's unbelievable. And that's why I wanted to do a showcase video of a, of a wristbands required at this store because I really enjoy coming here. You can see that's that opening. Offhand, I can't remember what this is, but it is moving. And it stopped. But this is right where we came through. Oh, it's moving again. We'll have to see what that is. Looks like a TV, doesn't it? Some kind of sign. From here, it looks like a windmill. Now it's stopped. And it just goes on and on, just room after room with a bunch of displays, a bunch of models set up. Your kitchens, bedrooms. Really cool. Look at this tree. Keeps going further and further back. We do have the escalator straight ahead. Some nice artwork here. And look at this kitchen. Can you imagine? I mean, look at this. This is incredible. Like, I feel like you're somewhere else right now. No, we're still at Apt Electronics. And there's one last look. Of my most favorite part of this store is just walking in here. And that's that's what was. So it's a. Looks like Samsung from here. Looks like it says Samsung. Some colors going on this screen. But that's what was rotating. Like, there's so much going on, I didn't even notice that when we were down on this lobby before. It's pretty cool. There you can see it's moving. And actually, that cave is right down there. This is my favorite part. But, like, everything. Oh, they're going to the bubble machine. Let's see what happens here. Looks like it's finished. So they do have a bunch of interactive stuff. Like you can see Thomas Edison, there's Humpty Dumpty, the plane, the plane, the bubble machine, pool tables, ski ball, couches to just chill on. This dude has been chilling here since I got here today. He's just hanging out. And if he gets hungry, you can just go right across here 
to the candy store. And going back down the other set of escalators, got a full C, walked around the entire perimeter. And I gotta say that everyone working here, they're so friendly. Like, it can go one of two ways when you go in, into a store filming stuff. They can either say, hey, there's no filming here, or they encourage it. And for me, they've encouraged it it's this entire time. It's really cool. It's a special place, and it's not, it's not close. Like, it's a hike to come here, and it's reassuring that I know that when I come here, there's no restrictions. Like, you're going to be able to do whatever you want. Like, we could go inside this bubble machine right now. I, I would, but we're not going to be able to see the, the bubbles filming on me, I guess. From what I've heard, when people come to visit, people who live close to here, they're like, you got to check out this store. And this is why, like, there's so much going on here that it's almost an amusement park. It's like, it's a special place. And right after Mr. Thomas Edison, if we're heading towards the exit doors, which are just straight ahead, I asked the question, like, if you're gonna pick up something big, just pretend I bought an arcade one up, if I bought that NBA Jam, I said, are there, like, if you're familiar with, like, furniture stores, like Holders, Steinhoffels, like, there's, there's pickup areas, like, kind of the, the dock area, not here. You just head down here to merchandise pickup. It's a side entrance out and anything you buy here and you're picking up that day to see all these dishwashers, washer and dryers. And a lot of helpful staff is also over in this area and I have had some great conversations in the past, previous times I've been here. And this area right here has always been very busy. I never had a chance to come up here but I mean, how cool. You could take your whole family here, guys. You could spend the whole day here and just have a great time. But right here, next to the customer service, is the merchandise pickup. So anything big, I want you to remember there's stairs right there. Anything big, you just go up to these associates, pull up your car, and you can pick it up. Or they'll ship free, like we said when we, we started the video. They have trucks, they'll, del they'll deliver if you're close enough, or they'll just ship it, FedEx, UPS, and it's all included with the charge. Well, and they have another arcade. Actually, after seeing this, this arcade, you see this bottle opener here, does have a refrigerator on it and it was actually in the cave, but because they brought in that new arcade one up Big Buck Hunter Pro Deluxe, they ran out of room, and this is something that the associate was telling me about, you know, again, this is $3,000. They're working on getting another 30,000 square feet, so expanding that cave area and expanding other places, bringing in more stores. In this store, more retailers. You can get an apt coffee mug. Eight bucks. To bring in more cool stuff, and it is cool to see this right next to picking up if we were going to buy anything today. I'm kind of tempted in picking up this coffee mug though. ABT apt. I used to call it ABT, but after verifying with an associate today, it is apt. It's a family name, it's a family business. And they treat you like family at Apt Electronics. Plenty of TVs, you just gotta wonder when sales go on year end, Black Friday, the deals that they currently have now. And they'll price match. So, I mean, again, if, if, if something you're gonna see, if, you're, if you stop here and you see something at Walmart, you're like, hey, it's cheaper, just price match it, they'll sell it the same price as Walmart. So, if you'd rather shop at a family owned business like Apt Electronics, They'll price match. They'll work with you. And you can see that there's representatives everywhere. You're gonna see these desks. Every turn you make, 
there's always someone here to help you and they're not they're not bothering you like going to a dealership or they're like constantly hey can I help you can I help you just go up to them and ask any question and they will be more than knowledgeable They'll give you everything you need absolute awesome place special place and for those thinking you know New Year's resolutions you know you want to work out at home you don't want to go to a gym you know I, I get it I work out at home you can always check out what they have here and heck they might even have payment plans just to start off with dumbbells just to start out with stuff I mean this treadmill is two hundred forty eight dollars and ten cents like it's something to start off small and you work your way big into getting machines like this like how serious do you want to take it but it doesn't take much and they have that here and it's quality stuff right in front of their mobile electronics that's gonna do it for today one last look my favorite part even in the lobby like going through here when you're greeted just kindness friendliness they do have some cool stuff on your way out. It kind of reminds me of Hobby Lobby. You have a foosball. Stuff's expensive, guys, but I mean, you just think of the quality. Like, it's, it's not just here. Like, you're gonna get, you're gonna find these prices. It's gonna be expensive anywhere. Like, just quality. The thing about here is you can be able to, like, check it out. Like, to buy it online, you're not, you're not physically playing with these. You know, firsthand, touching it. How does it feel? You get that at Apt Electronics. And I apologize for the wind, but you could just see the entire building, like everywhere we were at this store. Like this is the building. Like it see the logo on the end there. It's an awesome place and that skylight is just on the other side of that roof. Thanks for watching this wristbands required at Apt Electronics. It's a great store, it's a special store, and you gotta check this one out. I'll see you guys next time.